Hey everyone, it's Sokar QT here and in this video today I want to discuss two major topics. First we'll cover the pre-download for the Black Ops 6 multiplayer beta which goes live next week on August 30th. And then we'll dive into the latest updates on Liberty Falls for Black Ops 6 Zombies. By the way, for those who are interested, the Black Ops 6 beta early access time will be on screen right now and will be Friday, August 30th from 10am Pacific Time, 1pm Eastern Standard Time and then 6pm British Standard Time and then ends on Wednesday, September 4th as the time's pretty much the exact same times on screen right now. So you'll have a few days to play the beta and obviously the open beta then continues after that. So starting off with the beta download, if you've installed the latest Call of Duty HQ update, you've likely already downloaded most of the files for the Black Ops 6 beta. When you launch the game you'll notice that the HQ has been reorganised to prepare for Black Ops 6, it even has the UI, colour scheme, everything and I'm really excited for Black Ops 6 if you can't tell already. And this also includes a dedicated tab for the beta. If you click specifically on the beta tab, you'll be prompted to pre-order the game but if if you've already pre-ordered, you can use this tab to download the beta as soon as it becomes available or just use a beta code if you've already pre-ordered the game or you've got a friend who's given you one. This latest update also reinstalled various packs for different Call of Duty games since they all now run on the exact same engine, so MW19 Vanguard, MW2, MW3, Cold War for example. While this might have been a really really large download which has probably taken you quite a while because it's like hundreds of gig, again this is anywhere from like 80 to 120 plus gig depending on your platform of preferred choice, it actually reduced the overall size of Call of Duty HQ by over 100 gigabytes. A lot of people were complaining about the fact that you had to install say campaign files for different modes such as multiplayer and zombies and warzone and things like that. However Treyarch Activision themselves for the actual launcher of the app, the Call of Duty HQ app, they have now changed this to drastically reduce the size. Now on to the pre-download. On August 28th, the final pre-download for the Black Ops 6 beta will go live. If you've already downloaded the latest Call of Duty HQ update, you'll have most of the files ready to go. If not, you'll need to download the files when the beta becomes available, either by pre-ordering using a beta code, or if you have an Xbox Game Pass subscription, which will be on screen, you'll see the file sizes depending on whether you have the Call of Duty HQ update or not, or if you're downloading the Black Ops 6 beta alone. For those who want to try the beta without pre-ordering and spending lots of money on say the bigger editions of Black Ops 6, there are actually several ways to get a free beta code. If you're on Xbox or PC, you can subscribe to a 14 day Game Pass trial for just $1, or I think it's free pounds if you're in the US, which gives you early access to the beta. There will also be an open beta period, but for early access, the $1 free pound trial is a really great option specifically for getting the beta. Additionally, if you're a university student in the UK or U Europe, you can get a free beta code by connecting your account to the UniDays app. I used to when I was back at university years ago, I used to use the UniDays app when it first came out. You can also get other sort of products and things like that and discount codes, so it's another great way to get the beta. And if you're in the US, you can also get the X Affinity app and if you're an Xfinity customer, you can also get a free code through the app itself. Lastly, we do have some news on Liberty Falls, which we do know will be 100% appearing at Call of Duty Next, the event tomorrow. Not only are we getting live gameplay, but we're also getting a deep dive on the map from the developers, as well as the developers at Treyarch and Activision talking the gameplay, features, cutscene, story, and much more, which I'll definitely be covering on the channel if you guys want to check me out. And recently, we have gotten this absolute banger of an opening cutscene from Treyarch for Liberty Falls, showing off Richtofen's trauma with his dead family who are actually killed by Weaver, believe it or not, the Wunderwaffe DG2 which could be in Liberty Falls as a wonder weapon alongside the jet gun we currently don't know as of me recording this video, as well as Richtofen getting captured into the Dark Aether by Samantha who has seemingly taken control of Project Janus's facility at Liberty Falls with that really great ending shot 
shot of the sphere and Samantha saying that she's taken control and that she'll be able to be set free by some regard. Also, by the way, does this orb kind of look like Sophia from Gorod Crovey, who is Maxis's wife? It really does. It looks this this sort of sphere and orb that Sophia was in also showed up in, I believe it was Forsaken to capture the Forsaken. So again, we're gonna have to wait and see how this all sort of ties together, and who knows, we might even get some more information on Codnet. But not only did Richtofen get taken into the Dark Aether, but in the outro cutscene for Season 5 for MW3 Zombies, we saw Dr. Ava Janssen, who was the daughter of Dr. Grey, Ravenov, and more importantly, Samantha Maxis, who also got taken into the Dark Aether through the mirror in her sort of little motel in Liberty Falls. So maybe we could see Ava as well as this, whoever this mysterious figure is in the mirror. Is this the Shadow Man? Is this... Monty is a brand new character we currently don't know. We could see all of them pop up in Liberty Falls, which is going to be really great. And yet, finally speaking of COD Next, I will be covering COD Next in its entirety. I'm probably going to be streaming, that's not a definite at this point, but yeah, I'm probably going to be streaming COD Next, as well as doing recording and other stuff, so that's absolutely fantastic. If you guys want some more Black Ops 6 Zombies content, as well as retrospectives and things like that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I cannot wait for COD Next, this is probably the most hyped I've been for a Call of Duty game, probably since pre-launch Black Ops 4, and I I am so excited for this iteration of Zombies, I just hope that Trout gets it right. And not only that, I can't wait to play the multiplayer beta. And let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a safe day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.